Welcome Taurus, it's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Hope you're doing well. So it's time for September mid-month readings, guys. And what I do for you is I combine the Star Guide spread with the Starman Tarot card deck. And what this deck is, a little about this deck anyway, is was it inspired by David Bowie and he collaborated on the artwork. So you're going to see his face in some of the cards, which is super cool. So this month, Taurus, I've been guided to use the first two card placements from the spread and then do the rest on an intuitive basis. So I hope this is an excellent read for you and that it resonates. And just keep in mind that this is for uh, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So with all that being said, I will just shuffle the deck a couple more times and then we'll get right into your read. Um, and I just wanted to remind everybody to subscribe to the channel while you're here. It really does help me. So let's have a look at your present situation, Taurus. And this could be a situation that you're currently experiencing, or it could be in the collective energy about to come in for Taurus. So I'll pull a card here, present situation. So we have the Prince of Cups, and I think this is such a beautiful card because it speaks of a... Um, an invitation and coming in with the highest intention for those of you that are single this could be a romantic invitation you could be uh, notified of somebody's interest in you in a romantic sense and this could also be true for those of you in relationships because romance should be an ongoing part of any partnership so if it's been a while since something has gone on in your relationship on a romantic note uh, maybe initiate that or, you know, drop subtle hints that you'd like something to happen. <laughs> but definitely a great card with the Prince of Cups. You know, he's he is holding that cup out in front of him. The cups deal with the water element, guys, and this is the element of your emotions. So beautiful start. And the second card I'm going to pull is going to represent any cause of conflict that might come up here. So we've got the chariot card. So this is, it represents your energy. And just know that you guys are in charge of your energy. So if you haven't seen the results that you would like, and I am seeing this um, sort of more involved in your love life than anything else. I don't generally do love readings unless somebody requests me specifically to do them. But this is what I'm seeing here, definitely with the Prince of Cups. This is a romantic overture. It's a gesture of love um, or a romantic invitation. And then you come in with this sort of, you know, steamy looking chariot card. And it is reminding you that you are in charge of your energy. So if you're experiencing things in your love life, in your, I'm getting, it. it's also saying um, something related to your passion Maybe there's something blocking your energy and something I do, you guys, um, I do Qigong, which um, unblocks your energy. So you might want to look at something like that. My dog has arrived. I don't know what she wants. Go sit down. Okay. So I'm seeing here where it is time for you to take charge, a little bit of responsibility for any stagnation in your love life or any other blocks with free flow of energy here because there are things that you can do you can sage your house you can light candles you know you can have the um you know those you can take specific baths you can bath in um, black salt himalayan salt uh lavender essential oil um you know you can really start to open up your chakras here too so and the chakra you know you've got one around your heart so if you're feeling a little bit blocked in that area it might be a really good time to do heart chakra meditations or heart chakra yoga it's time here to take control of your destiny okay so this is what i'm seeing here for you so far tourist just needed a sip of water so i'll pull out a couple more cards here to see if we can amplify these energies and what else you can do here because the energy is available to you, but what you decide to do with it is completely your choice, you know, because you do have free will. This is kind of interesting here and, and really, really flows well with this chariot card. We do have the five of cups here. So it looks like you have some trapped emotion in you. 
the five of cups is sort of a sorrowful like a forlorn energy like something that happened in the past can really be holding you back um, it's important if you are single and looking for a relationship to make sure that you clear out any sort of historical angst or emotion from a past relationship in order to receive a new one without bringing forth any sort of pain and injury from the past relationship. This is why it's important to give yourself space before um, moving ahead into a new relationship. And this is also for those of you in partnerships. You know, there's going to be a lot of forgiving and forgetting along the path. Um, holding grudges is just so detrimental. So keep this in mind here. You do have the five of cups. So there's something within you that needs to be brought to the surface and released so that you can really receive this new offer coming in here. And I'm seeing for some of you, it could be a job offer. So if you were let go or something like that, just try and release it um, so that you can welcome in a new offer. You know, the five of cups really wants you to take care of any painful memories, you know, so you can start creating really beautiful ones because that's what you deserve, right? Nobody wants to be stuck in the past, especially if it was a painful one. So let's have another card here for you, Taurus. And I said it without a T that time. Okay, so this is what I was talking about where you guys are really in charge of your, your destiny. We do have the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles, she is someone who, she plots her course, you know, and she stays true to what she wants, what she has embedded in her, almost in her codes. You know, everybody is born with a a path to follow as set out by your soul and your higher self, you know, before you incarnate down here on the planet. And I think this is really interesting here is like, she's almost like a conjurer, you know, and she is, she always really almost reminds me of, you know, when you see in a coven and they're, they're spelling away here, which is really beautiful. And then there's the DNA here and to bring it up like to really search in your DNA, your energy, and it could be a little bit farther back. It could be a childhood trauma. It could be a past life trauma. And of course, there's lots of energy healing that you guys can do for yourselves in order to clear this so that you can really burst forward on your path currently and really enjoy where you are rather than be stuck in like a reversal and I'm getting the words reversal of fortune, you know, and you don't want to revert back to anything that was really uncomfortable. And there's such a fire element too in the queen of pentacles. So there's a lot of soul searching to be done here, you guys. So you can sort of cleanse that energy, cleanse the trauma, cleanse the memory and cleanse comparison, you know, against a potential new partner or your current partner and who they were when you met them because everybody does evolve. Um, and I'm getting the words here too, you guys, that the person that you need to also extend forgiveness to is yourself in case you were in a situation in a previous relationship where you took less than you knew that you deserved. So it's time to move past that and also, yeah, just clear the slate, you know? And I'll pull one more card here for you guys. So you have the Ace of Wands. So as a result of clearing all of this stagnant energy and using the force of the chariot, you'll begin to receive new ideas about what it is that you want for yourself. And you'll clear that DNA and, you know, really sort of a sigh of relief, like you've crossed the finish line of some sort of awkward, angsty phase and you can move into brand new, like, you but better you know what i mean just really able to exhale out the stagnant and the old and breathe in new fire so that you can proceed where you're supposed to be on your path okay taurus this is a really interesting reading for you and i hope this helps you and if you're not sure what i mean by energy healing clearing do a quick search and see what resonates for you there's so many different things that you can do for yourself and not everything works for everybody. So find something that really fits into your lifestyle and your schedule and dedicate yourself to clearing out that stagnant energy. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. Love. Okay, bye.